Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. So it's still September and we are going to be moving on to October as soon as possible. Really hope the barley is ready soon. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so if it's not ready in October then it's going to look kind of weird. Uh, but not to worry. Before we move on though, I must just go to the dealership to buy a little bit more chicken food. I really, really hope that we can harvest the barley tomorrow because of course that is the reason why we're growing it. It's to feed to the chickens so we can produce eggs. Um, so yes, I really don't want to give them more than a bag each, but... Oh, hello. Definitely not Dagwin, eh? Interesting. Why... When I open the store, is it going to that? Has something changed? Okay, you'll have to bear with me. Well, this is very strange, because it says Shop P. That's what it always has been. That's what I'm pressing. And yet, it opens something else. I'll need to see if anything else is set to P. Let's try that again. Ah, there we go. Brilliant. So it's working now. That's a mystery. That's really weird. Anyway, not to worry. It's all sorted. Let's go into the big bag category. And yes, it's going to have to be four. Going to have to do two each. Right. Okay. There we go. So slow and steady. I only want those first two to empty. Uh, before I did actually take them off, but that is quite a long-winded way of doing it. If I'm just careful. So the moment they start emptying, stop dead on the spot. There we go. Brilliant. And then the other two, over to the other chicken coop. Good. Next time I'm passing the spinnery, I'll have to take the other two pallets of wool. And we still have the snowplow here for emergencies, but I don't know if we're ever actually going to need it again. But that's good. I can now increase uh, the time a bit because I wanted to make sure that the uh, barley doesn't ripen today because if it does, I would like to harvest it in September ideally. It is the more appropriate month, although really August. October is pushing it. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to ripen. So, I'll turn the JCB off. We'll just quickly take a look at the cows. They've got enough food. Brilliant. The sheep are very happy. They've got some food. And so have they. Okay, right, so yeah, we're going to rest. Um, and I just... I'm so desperate for this to ripen. Uh, if it doesn't in October, then it's going to be really out of season. Please, please, please. Yes! Hooray! Thank goodness. Uh, so yes, we have two lovely big fields of barley, which we're going to harvest today. Um, oh, I should have looked to see if there was enough space for the uh, pallets to spawn. It was only in the previous episode when I said that I've got quite a quite a lot building up. Okay, almost another full honey pallet there. So yeah, I'll just quickly run around uh, moving these pallets to begin with. In fact, even better, let's put them on the trailer. Not much in the used machinery sale. I was hoping for an olive harvester. Uh, this month is going to be extremely busy. We have the barley, we have the grapes, the final harvest of the grapes, and also the olives. So let's make the most of it. We need to start off with the barley though. I'm desperate to get that done. 
So which combine shall we use today? I'm pretty much just <laughs> open to everything. I can go for whatever I want because we need to have something fairly big and money isn't really an issue at the moment. So we've used the Lexian, I think, recently. I haven't used many case tr uh, combines, actually, or tractors, but yeah, I haven't used many case combines, so that might be quite a nice thing to go for. So just the single big wheel is standard. I think we'll just go with standard. We'll go for a different brand. There we go. And that is going to be 20,000, well, pretty much 21,000. Um, plus the header. So let's get that released as well. I always forget to do that. I, I should press um, the combinations button. Now, is this a header which doubles up as a trailer? I don't think it is because when you press combinations, it does recommend a trailer. But I will make sure I know first of all. Don't want to rent a trailer for nothing. Uh, and really, actually, for this first... Yeah, we probably even need to have a trailer, because we could just skip across the fields. <laughs> it's only when we go up the road, like properly up the road, to like where the um, olive grove is, that's when we definitely need a trailer. I'm tempted just to cut across this field. But no, I don't think it is a header which is a trailer as well. I don't think it unfolds to become towable. Good. Just need to make sure I can get through here. Perfect. Okay. Lovely. So unfolding. Seems like a very nice combine. And yes, we are going to be selling the straw. I will keep some of it. We do already have quite a bit of straw, so I don't think we need to make that many for ourselves. Um, just trying to think, maybe 10? I, I think we could put 10 to one side. That is more than what we actually need, but just to guarantee that we get back through to next year's harvest, when we can make some more straw. And yeah, although we probably could actually reach the, uh, the silo fill point over there with the auger, I would probably still unload into a trailer. So this is good, this is the perfect size combine for us. Very happy with it. This will be the final time that we harvest this area just over here, because this is going to be a production area. And yeah, in the previous episode we bought the second dairy, which doubles up as a chocolatier. So we, we actually do need to deliver sugar to there today. Then we can start the chocolate manufacturing process, which will be great fun. Always nice to have a bit of chocolate. And in the future, we can get some cake as well from another production, the bakery. We do have, well, we've got the greenhouses for the strawberries to make the cake, that's for the topping. And we have the eggs, that's an ingredient required. I'm guessing we need wheat for flour. And, um,. Yeah, there might be something else as well. So all the things we're going to do, before, like I keep saying, before we finish this series, we're going to have every single production. So already we're 82% full. And conveniently, my trailer is just over there. Final triangle. I will time lapse the rest of the field. Oh, getting pulled across by my massive swath of straw. There we go. Right, so I think I'm going to unload now, um, and then we can head down there later. It's just in the perfect place. We don't have to go in the crop or anything.
Brilliant. Okay, right, let me do the rest of the field and then we can deliver some of this barley to the chickens. We'll fill both of the chicken coops, both the silos. And then the rest can go into storage for the rest of the year and winter and next year and <laughs> for as long as it lasts for, which won't be too long since the chickens consume loads. Not sure if we're going to actually make it to the trailer before we fall, but I thought I'd put it there anyway. We can always back up, but it looks like it's going to be pretty close. So this harvest has gone very well so far. This is the biggest field. I look forward to seeing exactly how much barley we get in total, but I don't really think we're going to have enough to last for 12 months because these uh, chickens just eat it like mad although we do have a lot of chickens and actually that reminds me of a comment I got in the previous episode or two episodes ago I need to check to make sure we don't have any really old hens uh, we, only, we only want hens that are actually laying eggs okay there we go we made it so this can now be emptied into those silos uh, whilst we wait I will just go over there, over to the chicken coop. You've escaped. There's one on the outside. Oh, okay, <laughs> it can walk through fences. What do we have? We have got 24 months old. I, don't, I actually don't know what the cutoff is when they start to reduce the um, egg laying. 60 months old. Wow. We'll sell those. 38. Interesting, are they all, they're all pretty old. Yeah, reproduction 50, reproduction zero, 50, 50. I think probably we don't. Apparently, we don't need the rooster, so we'll, we'll get rid of the roosters. We will keep basically selling them all here. Yeah, we'll keep those. Um, it still leaves 178. So. Yes, egg production may slow down a bit, but it means we're going to be able to free up space for a fresh batch of hens, and it won't cost nothing. They will reproduce naturally. Um, come on, you can do it. It's usually so powerful, we might have to look at upgrading it. So, I think the capacity is about 9,000 litres or so. Um, they do still have a bit of the food which I gave them, so they can just take whatever they want. Didn't look like much, but actually that was several thousand litres. Uh, and now for the other ones, which also need to be sorted out, although generally they're going to be a bit younger.
and there we go. Lovely. Um, so the rest can now go into the silo, the storage silo. Um, let me just take a look at this one. I, I do like to keep them down the side, really. That's been pushed out as well, so we'll, we'll get some fresh pallets started. And now, just to very quickly look at this. Okay, 41 months old. So we have 60. Um, looks like we have more than 60, actually. Tw another 20, so we had 80. They're 50%, they're 0. Interesting, I don't know why it defaults to 20 when there's actually more. There, there must be 60. <laughs> At least 60. 59. Okay. We're getting there, slowly. Uh, again, apparently the roosters are not required, so we can sell the rooster. And again, 60 of them. More than 60 of them. 51 months old. So how would... I, I'm, I'm probably reading into this incorrectly, actually, but... The 51 month old ones are 50% reproduction and the others which were younger were zero. I think I'm confusing myself. Let's just stick with the 24 month old ones. We have 60, they can reproduce. And um, yes, we'll have some young ones in no time at all. Ooh, that looks unhealthy. Wrong vehicle. So enough of this, I need to get that combine rolling. I've just realized I have the engine still running so it's still clocking up the hours. We will incur an hourly fee. And I'll park it just over here. In readiness for filling it up again. There we go. Right, so the lovely case combine harvester. Oh, we've only got 0 0.3 hours on it, we'll be okay. This was the big field after all. Some huge swaths. We will be bailing these in the next episode. Although, no, I think I'll probably prioritise the olive and the grape harvest. Very important that we get them done in October. It's going to be, yet again, another big olive harvest, but not as big as the one next year. Because, like I said, the vineyard is going, and uh, we're going to have a full field of olives, of olive trees. It's going to be fantastic. But also, probably in a year's time, we'll plant a brand new vineyard somewhere else. It can have its own dedicated field. So I'll start with the headland and then we can go up and down. But this field, I don't think it's going to take very long. I sort of expect two full combine loads out of it, which is still very good. But yeah, those grapes, those grapes are desperate to be harvested. I've just thought maybe where the vineyard is here, certainly this lower section, it could be another place for productions. I think further up the field though it's best just as a field because it's not very level. But just there, pretty good. We can definitely put one production there, it doesn't take up that much space. So yeah, I said two full combine loads, it's looking likely that it is going to be just that, maybe just over getting a decent amount of straw and it's amazing how laggy this corner is over here <laughs> it must be my trees um, it's always been laggy actually in this corner but I like them they look good like, eventually we might take down some spruce trees because it's good for logging but um, yeah 
it's only this corner which lags, so I have no intention to really clear the whole forest. It's very nice, it's a very pretty forest. And I think the willows, which took ages to germinate, I think they've germinated, I think they're fully grown. I haven't actually properly looked since, I don't know, December, January time, in real time, like New Year. Yep, I think they've grown. So which ones were willow? Just trying to identify a willow leaf. Oh, that was one. There, that's willow. Yes. Okay, so the willows have grown. They just well, they were just extremely slow. I'm guessing it was a glitch and it's likely been fixed. Which is probably the reason why they've grown. Anyway, we are 93% full. I don't think we're going to make it back up. Um, and yeah, I kind of get the impression that this field is just, just as big as the other field. It feels just as big now I've harvested it. Might be wrong. Um, could this be a first? Have I actually guessed the exact right number? Two full combine loads exactly? That's what I said. Oh, come on, this, this can't be possible. No, it's going to intentionally be short by about 2%. Make that 3%. There is a small amount just over here. Can we get 2%? No, sadly not. Okay, right, well, I was probably the closest I've ever been at guessing. That was pretty impressive. Because I'm always wrong. And there we go. Right, so uh, 0.6 hours on the clock. That is the harvest over. The grass over there will be done in November. It's not an issue. Uh, we've already harvested the canola, obviously. So we are done with this type of harvesting. We're done with the combinable crops. Looking good. So it's been nice, the uh, 9250. Expensive, but then, yeah, I didn't want to go for a really small machine because it would take forever. I like to do multiple things in each episode. So, yep, get that returned. Got away with not using a header trailer too, so <laughs> that was pretty good. In the trailer from this field, we've got 28,424 litres. So, yeah, so pleased we don't have to buy any more chicken food. And I think I'm going to keep seasonal growth off, although I don't want the olives to regrow in the winter. So I guess I could turn it on and then turn it off again in the spring. I don't like to mess with settings, but yeah. I, the last thing I want to do is start harvesting olives in... March. So as we know, all the silos are full for the chickens and we now have, in storage, 52,914 litres. And there were actually, <laughs> there was 4,700 litres of sorghum, which I could have used. But there we go, it's a, an emergency backup. Okay, so what we're going to do now is get the chocolatier going, which is not going to take too long. All we have to do is jump into the JCB. I could have used the forklift. This is better off-road though. Just stack some sugar pallets and then we can put them into the factory over there. And actually I do need to do a bit of landscaping as well. But I have bigger plans for that area. Okay, so I'll just get three on the pallet for it to begin with. Is this a bit... Yeah, they're set a bit too wide. Better. And then the sneaky trick which I discovered is just to lift up, wait for another one to spawn and drop it straight down on top of it. Easy stacking. Now the tricky part transporting them without the top one toppling over on top of me because that would be a sugary mess if 
The one thing I do hate is when they start to creep around on the forks. They start to work their way forwards. For no reason. Oh, cheese. There's some cheese spawned. Uh, it doesn't matter if they fall off when we get to the trigger. They can just fall into the trigger. Uh, just before the... Oh, crikey. Where are we going? Sending me off. Uh, in the future, we'll just put them all on the trailer. But yeah, this is the place just here. It's got stuck, so I'll let it empty. I almost made it. But this is why we need to have a, a better road. We need to put a track in. <laughs> That's not going to be accepted. There we go. So, how much do we actually need? Not too much. Um, it looks like maybe another four pallets will fill it. But that is enough to start the production. So we're now making chocolate. Hooray! And as I said, we've got some cheese just around the corner. We're not going to make butter here. It is just going to be chocolate and cheese and potentially in the future, only chocolate. So I'll just go and get some more. Get three more. Do the trick again. There we go. only works while there are some to spawn. Hope there's another one to spawn. Come on, please. Stop creeping. Ah, oh, typical. I think that was it. Okay, well, I can just put it on top of this one. And we'll take this over there as well. Hopefully we actually make it there. Yeah, I'm not going over the road this time. And they do like to explode. Oh no. I'll let it sort itself out. I'm sure it'll be fine. Nothing to see here. Seriously though. Can I have my JCB back, please? <laughs> oh, we're bouncing. We're bouncing. I reckon I can bounce it a bit more. Please, just give me my JCB. Thank you. Thank you. Good. So that should be looking much better. I must have been looking at the wrong thing, you know. I'm sure that was... It must be because I've started the production. I don't know. Right, so that's fine, because we can just basically bring across all of our sugar in a trailer when we're ready. I've started the production. That's the important thing. So next time, we're going to get cracking with the grape harvest. Then we'll do the olives. Look at that manure pit. <laughs> that's piling up, that is. Wow. 158,000 litres, which we will be using... Once this field over here has been cut again, I'm going to be buying a muck spreader and we'll spread it. So, anyway, that's all for another day. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.